Nanotechnology is an enabling technology and that means we see it coming into all sorts of different applications in agriculture and that ranges all the way from using particular new materials for water storage and delayed or increased water storage and uh, release again, all the way to very high technology sensors which can be used on a larger scale and also the production on what does one do with the harvested food later and what actually goes into the food production stream. So there's a lot of application both on the environmental side that helps us to be more um, uh, saving with resources and also on the food processing side and on the very um, grassroots on what goes into the uh, agricultural applications. Well, there is obviously a uh, discussion and a trial application of particular nano particulates, a, uh, a much smaller form of particulates than they were used before in the food chain. But that is only one of the potential applications of nanotechnology. And uh, no matter what goes into the food chain, it has to be safe. So that means that just because we're making things smaller now, doesn't necessarily mean we're making entirely new things that never were there before. It just means we're making them much more controlled to a size where they really matter and where they show their functionality and they still have to be as safe as the larger ingredients were before. It is just a matter of particularly having control over how large the particle size is, which gives us particular advantage over nutrition, the delivery of nutrients to the body, the uh, dispersion of nutrients and the, uh, and the use of materials in, in general. <laughs>